everybody, Dr. Jamie here, and you are about to listen to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I hope you enjoy the tips and advice in this segment. Hey everyone, Dr. Jamie here with the Dr. Jamie show audio experience and today I am sitting here with Colleen Maxey, pain physician and owner of USA Spine, usaspine.org and we just got done chatting on a 60 minute Dr. Jamie episode about carrying confidence, being bold and creating a kick ass business. So I am going to ask her on this audio the, some of the three questions that we ran down during the segment. You've got to check out the segment. We had three beautiful, super successful, amazing women on the the show and Colleen had some awesome points to add when it comes to carrying confidence and being bold. Colleen, welcome to the Dr. Jamie show. Thank you. Yeah. So I guess my first question for you is what are some of the challenges behind success? Well, you know, the challenges that I see on a daily basis are um, oftentimes I'm not aware of. They just kind of, they're there, they hit you in the face and um, at what I've learned over time is they're, they're speed bumps that you just you just have to keep going. Um, and what may be a large challenge is, you know, the next day it, it really wasn't a, a challenge at all. Okay. Um, yeah, I think even I face these day-to-day setbacks, these day-to-day things. And I think the most important thing is to not let it derail your whole day, to sort of put your solution hat on instead of your freak out hat. How can I fix this and move on? Um, because you're right, oftentimes all these little setbacks during the day, the next morning don't even really matter. Um, so excellent, excellent point on that. Now motivation. So many people want to know how do other people motivate themselves? So Colleen, how do you motivate yourself and then stay motivated? Well, I definitely just focus on my goals. And, um, you know, I think we wear different hats during the day. But what at, at, at the end of the, the game, you know, or the end of life, what, what are your goals and, and how do you reach those goals? Um, yeah, I, I feel like motivation is just in my DNA. When, mm-hmm. when, I, when I have a goal, I try to reach it. And um, sometimes you don't reach your goals, but um, different aspects of life. Last year, I completed a half Ironman. And wow! So, yay! Of course, I'm now registered for a full Ironman. Wow! <laughs> that is amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I just I I kind of thrive on um, challenge. Okay. Yeah. So thriving on challenge is a great way to stay motivated. We talked about accountability partners during the segment. And sometimes the most things that can be motivating are things you don't want to be like. And I had talked about that myself. You know, there were things growing up that I knew I didn't want to be like, or I didn't want to do. And so that motivated me to do better and be better. Okay. So my last question for you today, and we actually didn't get to this question on the 60 minute episode that you were just on, and it's regarding mentors. So specifically with women, do you suggest that women have a mentor? And if so, should they also or only have a male mentor? Absolutely. I feel everyone needs mentors. And I've had both men and women mentors in my life. Um, I wouldn't really be where I am today if it wasn't for their advice, their support. And then um, they expected me to just to do more and, and be more. Mm-hmm. Um they push you. They, they really do. do. They push you. They hold you accountable. And oftentimes they have so much wisdom and knowledge. Um, you know, I was talking to this guy one time on the Dr. JB show and he said, you know, I have mentors, but I don't just have one mentor. I have a mentor for different areas of my life because this mentor might be amazing at business, but be terrible at family. But he's like, I need a mentor for how to be a great husband. Uh, and he said, so I have someone that mentors me that uh, teaches me these things. So I think having mentors in different areas of life could also benefit. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Colleen, for being on the Dr. Jamie show. Um, I appreciated the full segment. I appreciate this segment. Everyone, do me a favor. Go to YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, subscribe to the Dr. Jamie show. Every like, every follow helps us to keep bringing guests back on the show that are amazing like Colleen Maxey with USA Spine, usaspine.org. And she will be back on the show to talk about pain and how to heal pain and work through it. It, uh, later in February. Have a great day.
Thank you so much for listening to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I really hope that you enjoyed the tips and advice given on today's segment. Do me a favor and go to iTunes and my YouTube and please subscribe to that channel. Every subscribe, every like, every follow helps the Dr. Jamie Show grow so that we can bring you the best guest and the best content possible. And of course, as always, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave that as well. Talk to you soon.